Uh, right now we'll discuss uh, problem 4. A copper coil has a resistance of 20 ohms at 0 degrees centigrade. Here 0 degrees is nothing but initial temperature 0 degrees and R1 will be the resistance of 20 ohms and find the resistance of coil at 50 degrees centigrade. Here 50 degrees is nothing but T2 temperature he has given and asking us to find R2. Find the resistance of coil at 50 degrees centigrade. On 50 degrees temperature what will be the resistance? Okay, It will be T2 degrees centigrade and the resistance will be R2 we have to find and the temperature coefficient of a value of resistance is given uh, 0 0.0043 per degree centigrade 0 degree centigrade okay so here uh, by using small diagram we will try to understand once again this is the initial temperature T1 0 degrees and the resistance R1 is 20 ohms and here the final temperature T2 is 50 degree centigrade and ask us to find resistance at R2 equal how much an alpha naught value is given 0 0.0043 per degree centigrade and the given data so first of all as I said by using uh, understand after understanding this problem you have to write given data R naught equal to 20 ohms at 0 degrees T1 equal to 0 degrees initial temperature T2 equal to 50 degrees and it is a final temperature and temperature coefficient is given at 0 degrees is nothing but alpha naught equal to 0 0.0043 per degree centigrade and find out R2 equal to how much and by using the relation so far we have solved uh, total resistance equal to um, RT equal to R naught 1 plus alpha naught T uh, we will get after substituting all these values into this equation R naught equal to 20 T2 equal to 50 degrees alpha naught equal to 0 0.0043 per degree centigrade into the equation and you will get 24.3 ohms ok nothing but R2 is 24.3 ohms and this is the answer hope you understand this uh, topic uh, this problem clearly here main thing you have to uh, get perfect with the formulas once if you know the formulas and if you understand the problem clearly then uh, we will come across uh, what formula we have to submit to complete this problem to solve this problem and uh, hope uh, this problem is very very simple just by using simple equation we can solve it ok thank you hope it is clearly understood thank you very much